So just in case you didn't know, it's Rugby World Cup year. Of course, the All Blacks are preparing to defend their title, but they're also trying to manage the exodus of players after the tournament. So who will fill the ranks next year? On current form, Nehem Milna Scudder of Ngati Poro is definitely in the running. As far as his pedigree goes, it doesn't get any better than being part of two of Māoridom's most famous rugby families. Kia ora and welcome to Westpac Stadium. It's Hurricanes time and today the Hurricanes take on the Waratahs. Oh, I think he's awesome. I think he's got real potential. I reckon give it another year, he's going to have a black shirt on his back. He's brought a lot of excitement this season for us and we're looking forward to seeing a lot more of him playing for the Hurricanes. High speed start to the game. Milner scattered back on the inside to Beautiful stepping. Look at this guy go. Milner Scudder. It's a massive buzz. Um, yeah, there's a lot of history and a lot of tradition um, in the Hurricanes jersey and, and in the 15 jumper. So, um, yeah, I'm just buzzing every time I get to chuck it on and um, run out there with all the boys as well. It's a um, yeah, huge, huge honour and privilege. Ko te hau tipu a nehe ko Christian Cullen i nga te hikaka ki te tangata e mauana i tōna hāte. Smith has to bring it out. Milner Scudder stays on the line. Yeah, I mean, he's got the step, he's got the pace, he's got all the talent in the world. It's just, yeah, I guess a matter of what he does over the next sort of year or so, and there's a lot of good players in the All Blacks at fullback and wing, so, um, yeah, there's competition there, but I don't see why not. If he keeps on going the way he is, then, uh, then we'll see in a year or two. Right, they come to this near side, Milner Scudder. He maha ngā whakamuimiti mo te tangata hau mō ngā hurricanes. Still a buzz out just at, um, at every training, sort of running out, out alongside next to them and um, calling moves and, you know, just even catching the ball and passing to them. Conrad Smith and just got touched there by the Waratahs. Engari he maha te tautoko mō tēnei i ka hou. I nā nā maa nōnu ia i kawe mai ki te wiwi me te tākoro hoki. We took them under the shoulder and helped them out with sort of stuff on the field and off the field and he didn't really act like he was like bigger than anyone else. He kind of just acted like one of the boys and yeah, nah, he's been huge for my game even sort of eight games into the season. Just always giving me feedback and um, sort of critiquing me on little areas that I can improve on. So yeah, he's been a huge, huge help. Kia mehe kaore e tū ātū i tōna whaia ki te tautoko i aia e taia pātata ai ki te moi moia. Yeah, the number one role model will be the, um, the lady sitting next to me. Um, just, yeah, everything she's done for myself and uh, the older brother and sister. So, um, yeah, I'll be forever grateful. Just with the other he was actually a very easy child. You could probably say one of those ones that were, was born with a, with a ball in his hand. He really loved sports, had a real passion for any sports, spent a lot of time as he grew older. Um, it was very difficult to watch anything else on TV other than sport, rugby. Um, he was there, so he was always had a passion for sports and very um, competitive academically as well as uh, sports and sports. Loved learning. I used to coach him when he was little and I had to referee when they were little as well at primary school and yeah, I had to sub him off quite a few times to because he'd argue back with the ref, so I'd have to send him off the field quite a few times. Ko Canterbury Bulldogs te kai ako i ai ki ngā pā tukituki e rua tau ka pahure ka hoki mai ki te kāinga. Ko rua tū ki ngā Manuatu Turbos ki ngā Hurricanes te mutunga mai ko ngā ōpango Māori. Look at this guy, ball in two hands, the speed, the gas to get over. He is on fire 2014, Nehi Milna Skara. It's just about to represent uh, my Fano, my Whakapapa, where I'm from. Um, proud Māori boy, so yeah, it's about to um, put the jersey on and learn about the heritage and the tradition and the history that's gone into their jersey and the people that have played in it before was yeah, it was huge. Yeah.
ko te whakapōrearea ko ngā paratanga. Yeah, it's an all been but it's sunshine and rainbows, I guess. Um, yeah, you sort of always have have um, sort of setbacks and adversity as such, but yeah, it's kind of if you know sort of where you want to go and um, how you're going to get there, then you just stay on that track and you just keep working hard. Ina ko te tākoro tahi me ngā paumuri o pango kei roto i ngā hurricanes. Ko te matapai ka eke panuku ki te taumata toa, te rātea ka wai maria te ika tau hau nei ki te pōraka o pango. Go to the left and Milner Scudder. Manawatu's nehe Milner Scudder continues to impress. Oh, he's gone through again. Now he gets... We're still quite overwhelmed. Um, very proud, very proud and humbled to, to um, see him achieve all that hard work he's put in and, and to be on that journey to achievement, to achieving his huge goals. It's my main focus at the moment is um, just yeah, playing well for the Hurricanes and making sure that you know, I can put in good performances there and I guess whatever else happens after that will, will take care of itself. Very cool. Now, Nehe played a key role in the Hurricanes win last night, 29-23 against the Crusaders, to see them remain at the top of the Super 15 table. The win extends the Hurricanes' run over the Crusaders to five from the last six matches. Another Māori boy in all-black contention is Hikawera Elliott, whose Chiefs side lost 16-15 to the Melbourne Rebels last night, but despite that, he's remaining positive. Aira, koe nga te mea tino nui, koe nga te mea te moe moe a tino nui kia hau nei kia uru atu anō a hau ki roto i te tīma o pango mo tēnei tau. Ki o koe nei whakaolo he nui ngā mahi kei moe i a hau ki te uru atu a hau ki roto i tēnei tīma anō.